the promoter of Matchroom Boxing. Eddie, I'm going to make my conversation with you very quick because these women are holding a lot of hardware in their hands right now. Is this fight signed, sealed, delivered, done for May 20th? This fight, this rematch after one of the best fights we've ever seen on April the 30th in the Garden last year, the rematch between Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano is on. May the 20th in Ireland. I can't believe we're saying Katie Taylor will make her debut in Ireland. But on May the 20th, Katie came all the way here to New York last year to fight. And now Amanda is true to her word. She will come to Ireland on May the 20th for the biggest fight of the year, the epic rematch. These two, for the first time in a four belt era, two reigning undisputed champions will face off against each other. All right, Katie, I want to ask you, you both are all smiles as we stand here facing off. What were you thinking watching Amanda Serrano just go to war with Erica Cruz? Uh, I thought it was a great performance and um, I obviously uh, was cheering her on because uh, we, we wanted this fight, undisputed champion versus undisputed champion. Um, the last fight was an epic fight and I think the next one's going to be exactly the same. It is one of the craziest facts in all of boxing that you, Katie Taylor, have never fought as a professional in your home country of Ireland. What does it mean to you to go back to Ireland, not just in fight, but fight in the biggest fight for women's boxing? Uh, this is uh, more than a dream come true. My, my debut in Ireland against um, the, the Amanda Serrano, uh, the real deal Amanda Serrano. Um, this is uh, incredible. And um, as I said, the last fight was epic, and I expect nothing else uh, for the next one. You won the last fight, a competitive fight, on the scorecards. Why was it important to you to do this rematch? Well, this is still the biggest fight in women's boxing, and I, I only want the biggest fights. And um, yeah, this is, uh, this is exactly what I want. All right, Amanda, we'll turn to you here. You hear a lot of your fans in this building tonight. I don't think there'll be quite as many on May 20th when you go to Ireland. Why were you so willing to sign up and go to Katie's home turf? You know, Katie is a true champion, and she came here to New York, and she fulfilled um, both our dreams to fight each other. Now I, she deserves to fight in Ireland, and it's going to be a bigger and better fight over there. It was an ultra-competitive fight the first time around. How much did that loss bother you in the aftermath? You know why it didn't um, bother me too much? I mean, of course you want to win, but I've learned a lot, and now I know what I need to do. What kind of changes? I mean, you said you made some changes to your training, adding some sparring, doing some other things. Do you feel like you've done enough to, make, to win the second time? I've done enough, and I will do more. Yeah! You'll do more. Do you think you can convince some of this pro Puerto Rican crowd to make the trip to Ireland? I think yeah. I might have some. I might have some to take the trip. Right, guys? <laughs> Congratulations, Amanda. Looking forward to May 20th, Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano, part two. May 20th, it happens in Ireland. But you wonder how much this fight maybe took out of Amanda Serrano. She's in her mid-30s after all.